Now we're on step five and it says open the session form. Now remember, we have all sorts of objects, tables, queries, forms, and reports. We want to open forms and add a new session. So let's look for our session form and that's right here in the middle. We're going to double click it and that'll open it up on our computer and it says add a new form. Um, one thing you could do is you could add a uh, a new session but one one way I like to do is go ahead and click over in views and click in data sheet view and when you do that you see how the sessions are laid out up here so we want to click in new and access is going to label the new ID number for you so just hit tab and the new title is university collaboration so we just click and start typing and then hit tab and the new date is 11 28 2017 so I'm going to put 11 and look how it's already in date format for us I'm not typing those slice, slices it's typing that and I'm going to go tab and the starting time is actually 2 if you put a 0 before the 2 it will better understand it and then put 0 and then capital P and M and then hit tab and the room ID is 104 and then once you hit tab you have entered your new record of university collaborations and you are supposed to save and close the form so you right click on the title the tab and hit save right click and hit close and you are step six open the session speaker table so what we want to do is come over to all access objects and open our tables and find session speaker double click it so it opens and it says enter a new blank record using speaker ID of 010 and a session ID of 09 so we need to scroll down to the bottom so here's where our new record would be and we're going to type 0, 1, 0, and then hit tab. Notice how it already puts a speaker ID of P in front of that 0, 1, 0. And then for session ID, we want to put 0, 9, and hit tab. Sort the table by speaker ID in descending order. Now, descending means biggest to smallest. So we'll go descending Z to A. We'll click the arrow next to the speaker ID. We'll sort largest to smallest and we'll save the changes. So we'll right click on the tab for save and right click for close. Step seven, open the master list sessions and speakers report in layout view. So first we want to make sure we're over in all access objects opening our reports and then it wants us to open the master list session and speaker report in layout view. Now I'm going to double click it just to open it and then to go ahead and find the correct view. I'm going to right click and click layout. And there we are in layout view and you know it's layout view because you can do the separate components of the of the report switch to okay we saw layout view so we did that switch to print preview and change the margins to wide okay to print here's our views by the way to print preview we go to file and then print and once you do that you can quickly print it you could print the whole thing or you could print preview which is just a view of your assignment so it's asking us though to make your margins wide so we're going to come over here to margins in the print preview window and we're going to come to the second choice which is wide margins and then it says close print preview okay so we're going to come up here to close and click close step eight ask us to switch to report view so we're going to come over here to view we are on the design menu and we are going to go to report view 
And now that we're in report view, apply a filter that limits the report to sessions for room 101. If you go ahead and click room 101 right here, then you can come up to the sort and filter panel and click selection. And since we already clicked 101, it's saying, do you want it to equal 101? Yes, we do. We want it to equal room 101. So we click that. And now you can see that our report prints room 101. And then it says save the filter and close the report. So we're going to right click and save this filter. And then we're going to right click and close the report. Step nine is to close all database objects, which we've done. Our panel here, our stage is closed. It says close the database, exit access, and submit the database. Now remember, the name of our database is last name, first name, which is Lewis Daphne Exploring A01. I want to make sure that when I close this, that um, I upload that file for grading. So I'm going to go ahead and close it. In the meantime of closing, I logged back into our course, in our My IT Lab course. I clicked Access Chapter 1. I clicked Assignments, and I'm going back to that greater assignment that we read. And I click here to submit. We have up to three submissions. And it'll open the panel and say, do you want to start again? Well, I'm starting to submit my assignment. We already downloaded our materials. We've already done our work steps. And now we choose our file. And remember, we said that um, ours was named Lewis Daphne. Yours should be your last name and maybe your first name, too. Once you've selected the file, you do need to click Upload. It'll show you how fast it's uploaded and then say it's successful. Then you have to Submit for Grading. And it says your file has been submitted for grading. Then you click Close Assignment. You close this and you go back to where you were in my IT lab and it tells you that you submitted your assignment and you made a B. So come on guys, you can beat me at this. You can find out what I did wrong. And to do that, you click on the pull down arrow and view, dang it, sorry. <laughs> you want to view submissions. That's where I'm trying to click right there. Awesome. And so now it says you got a C. The first time you got a B and the second time you got a C. So what you need to do is be able to double click that and see what was right and what was wrong. So they're saying that when we applied the filter in step three, we didn't quite do that correct or sort by the results. Let's see what else we missed. And that seems to be the big problem. So you guys need to write in and tell me how to do that filter query right. I know you can figure it out. And sort by Cynthia Ashley's name. You know, we never did view it in a table. We probably should have viewed it. All right. It's been great working with you tonight. And remember, you've got three uploads. Highest grade wins. All right. Have a great time. Bye-bye.